hello hello everyone it is that time again to unbox an art snacks box so we're going to be unboxing the may art snacks box and i hope you're as excited as i am so first off in the box they have a little card letting us know that they have an alvin led lighting system like different lights in their art snacks store and you can get up to 40 percent off if you purchase through their store so that's always nice if you need some good lighting head over there then we've got the card which we're going to set aside because we don't want to get spoiled on what's in this box and then of course we have the art snack sticker which is a little different than their basic sticker um, but it's still adorable as ever and lastly for the little items we've got some cute smarties which are always delicious and everything else is in this green tissue paper so I'm gonna take the time to let you guys know that if you're interested in art snacks I have a link down below it is $24 plus free shipping if you're an art snacker living in the US and it is $24 plus $10 shipping if you're an art snacker living in the international areas. So now everything is out of the tissue paper. All the goodies were in there apparently. So first off is a Faber-Castell Pit Big Brush Artist Pen at a $6 retail. Think big and draw even bigger. The Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen combines a modern brush nib with traditional India ink. Making it very light, fast, and waterproof. And because of that, it is a popular choice among artists everywhere. I also got chrome yellow, so if you got a different color of anything in the box, leave a comment down below and let me know. Next up is a new product. It is the Copic Multiliner CS at a $3.99 retail. Copic is making a mark with their new Multiliner CS, which stands for Calligraphy Small. Specially developed for calligraphy purposes, this pen has a 2mm tip that's ideal for intricate, detailed expressions. The black pigment ink is waterproof and Copic proof, which is always nice. Then next up, we have a Liquitex Professional Paint Marker with a 2mm tip, and it comes in at a $5.99 retail. I got fluorescent green. What color did you get? Discover the vibrant high pigment quality of Liquitex Professional Paint in pen form. So it features a water-based acrylic paint that can be applied on a variety of surfaces such as paper, canvas, wood, metal, or glass, which is always nice. Next up, we have a Coom Correct Stick Eraser at a $3.50 retail. This is a staff favorite, and if you got our snacks box a couple of years ago, you might remember this because we got some a couple of years ago. Um, basically, this has a really pointy tip so you can get accurate erasing as well as you can flip it over and erase large areas. And lastly, we have the Tombow Monograph Mechanical Pencil at $6 retail. Shake up your sketches with the Tombow Monograph Mechanical Pencil. To extend the lead in this unique pencil, just jiggle it. Once you're done drawing, click the lock on the side to prevent accidental lead extension. This pencil also features one of the most popular erasers in Japan, and it's twistable, so you can twist it up and twist it back down. It's always nice. And it's refillable, so yay for that. So here is everything that came in this month's box. I can't wait to do an illustration with them and kind of figure out how they work for me. Uh, if you got anything different, I would love to see, hear your comments down below. So yeah, let's head over into that illustration. All right, so seeing as it is mermaid, guess what? Surprise, I'm drawing a mermaid. <laughs> um, this is actually the second attempt with these supplies. Third, if you count the practice doodle I did that I posted for mermaid day four. Uh, and if you want to see any of my mermaid doodles, they will be on my social media, which you can find links to in the description below. So um, I'm drawing a mermaid and um, I don't know, I just wanted to have fun with it and not think too much. So there's not really much detail or anything in this. Um, I just wanted to play with the supplies and kind of figure them out and see how I liked them. So first off, I'm going to be singing the praises of that Tombow pencil for the next millennia. I love the thing. I don't jiggle it to make the lead come out. You can click the little pen clip to make it come out, um, but I just love it. It's nice. The eraser is great. I don't know. I, just, I love it so much. The Kuma eraser is also amazing. Like, it gets little details. You can erase big areas if you need to. It's just amazing. Um, I think last time I had one of these, I didn't like it. This time I do. Apparently, I grew up a little bit. I don't know. But I loved it. Um, however, for everything else in the box, I don't know. I just didn't care too much for the rest of the stuff in the box. Um, the Faber-Castell pit pin wasn't bad. I actually really like the color payoff and it was really nice. It's just something I don't see myself using too much of. And the same goes for the Liquitex pen. Also, you can see I am on the phone with me mother. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, honestly, the Liquitex pen is great too. It has good color payoff. It's just something I don't use too much in my art, so I can't see myself using it. Um, normally when I get art snacks, I get some items that I don't use too much and I try to incorporate them into my art, but sometimes it just doesn't work. And then lastly, the Copic CS. I 
you know, you may have a different opinion on this, and again, opinions are the spice of life, so if you have a different opinion, that's fine, leave it in the comments, but I hated that thing. Maybe it's because I don't do calligraphy, but I don't know. It was great for filling in large areas, and you can't see it, but it was in a previous speed paint that I had tried to film, and I ended up hating how it looked, but anyway. But the tip just frayed. It started rolling up on itself, and it just turned into mush, and it was terrible. And, I mean, the color is fine. You know, everything else was fine. It's just that tip did not last very long at all, and it was terrible. And I would not recommend it to anybody using it for purposes other <laughs> than calligraphy or light uses in art. Um, because just don't, don't use it for heavy stuff. It just doesn't work. But, again, that is my opinion. Maybe you had a better experience <laughs> than I did. Um, so, I, as you can tell, just to incorporate it into the picture, I added it to, like, two things. But, anyway, I'm taking my Uniball Signo and adding some uh, final details because why not? It's my favorite thing, so why not? Uh, anyway, if you want to know a full list of supplies that were used in the video, there will be links in the description below to where you can go check them out. So, yeah, we're nearing the end of the video, and you're going to be seeing a look at the final piece in just a second. I want to thank you so incredibly much for being here to the very end. If you are, um, you are awesome, and thank you so much. If you aren't already, and you want to be a part of our cute, adorable squid pod, don't forget to subscribe via the subscribe button down below. Also, again, I have social media, so if you want to check those out, links will be in the description as well. And, yeah, until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!